Good evening. It's been a few days. Um, today's Monday. The 4th of July was on a Thursday, and that's when I filmed that. You're probably going to see this on Tuesday. And I said I wasn't sure how many days a week I was going to do this. I want to make sure that you guys have got... Blah, 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 I can't talk today. I'm trying to make sure that you guys get at least one video a week. And... It's going to sound a little repetitive because I have a video coming and I decided it's going to be on this channel. It's a long video compared to these um, catch-ups at night. But I think there's something in there that might be repeated here. And I apologize in advance if I do. Um, on Saturday, I took the bus by myself, meaning I walked a half a mile from here to the bus stop and then took the bus to work and whatnot. And the reason why I'm telling you by myself is because my daughter also works in the area, in the county. And so she takes the bus with me and then she takes the train to her job. And on Saturday, she didn't have to because she had a ride, number one. Number two, she closed, so she didn't have to go in until one. So she really didn't have to take the bus with me, um, which is a good thing because on Saturdays there's no train so she has to take the bus and then get another bus and I think it's three buses she has to take or something like that it's just a mess so it's hard for her but luckily she had a ride and she didn't have to worry about that and so it was interesting because before I left I mentioned to her you know it's really interesting how based on things that have happened in your past you start certain patterns and then you can't break out of them I am a assault survivor, and so I don't like to be alone in certain situations. I don't like to go to the store alone. I don't like to be in the car. I mean, if I'm driving to work and coming home, I don't have a problem with driving. Or if I'm dropping her off and coming home, I don't have a problem driving by myself. But if I have to go somewhere where I don't usually go, like if I decide to go out for lunch, I will never stay in a restaurant by myself. That's not a thing that's going to happen. I don't go to the movies by myself. I find them boring. I can do that at home. Uh, my safe space are my home and ironically my car. So long as I'm not like out of route. And so Saturday was a big win for me because I had never done the half a mile walk and then the, the, the bus ride by myself. It's not something that I do. And so it was very, very strange for me to do that. And when I did it, I was ecstatic because I felt, you know, I'm pretty sure when we were kids, we used to do that. The first time we ever did something, we were really ecstatic about it. That's how I felt. And so it was a good day. Saturday was a good day. Then on yesterday, which was Sunday, I had an entire conversation on a live stream on another channel about how we have been brainwashed to think that if we're not doing something productive, we're being lazy. I might not have said it in those words, but that's what I meant. And so I just wanted to lay down, relax the entire day or the entire weekend for that matter, because my weekend is Sunday, Monday. And I felt guilty every second, but I forced myself not to do anything major I mean, I did do some dishes and that kind of thing, but I'm talking about like big things like doing the laundry for the week. We do laundry once a week and we just separate the clothes and wash them all and I wash them, he folds them. And then we put them away. He puts his stuff on, I put my stuff away. I didn't do any of that. I did one load of laundry today and I cooked dinner. And my dinner was macaroni and cheese and it's like my favorite guilty pleasure and... I use gluten-free noodles, which I have found some gluten-free noodles that are really, really, I mean, sometimes I think they're fooling me. They're that good. But today was quite possibly one of the best macaronis and ma macaroni and cheeses that I've ever made in my life. So, and it was consensus among the three of us that it was probably the best one I've ever done. I also made a video that is probably going to be on this channel. I haven't decided yet. But I think it's going to be on this channel. It's a very long video. But it's a video that opens the window into 
what impact it has when you have a social media presence and people are just mean for no reason. And that was hard to film, but I got through it and now I have to edit it. I don't know when it's coming out. I'm trying to put myself out there more often than I used to. To go back to the time when I had content on my channel every week. In this case, in all four channels. Sometimes I do upload shorts on all four channels just to make sure that there's something going on. And I would like to get to the point where every day I post something on all my social media. And even if it's just a little short or a little message or something pretty to, for people to look at. And I realize that some people say, well, Twitter's not the place for you to be um, wasting positive energy or not. But I disagree with that. Because my favorite moments on social media right now are the moments when I see people posting stuff that is nice, that is sweet, that is entertaining, that is funny. TikTok has become the place where all you get is um, people selling you stuff. And I don't mind because I get enough, I have enough people that don't do that, that when I look at my FYP, I don't have to look at it. But it is kind of annoying sometimes that there are days when that's all I see. Most of the time I don't, but some days I do. Instagram is a, the place for me to go and just keep up with my friends. Facebook is for my family. And so YouTube is my own little world. And I would like to devote more time to YouTube. When you see the other video, you're going to understand more of what I'm trying to say. The bottom line is that I'm here. I'm not going anywhere, like Peter Mon likes to say. And I think this is, I, I said from the beginning of the year, 2024 is going to be my year. And I've had to pivot several times because, for example, we were supposed to move. We're not going to move. Um... We have two cars. One is dead. The other one is giving us a hard time. And the finances are not all there because my husband got laid off. I lost hours after I got a job. I was so happy. I, I lost hours. And before you tell me, but you didn't work before. I was working from home. So I was making enough money at, in some months to pay the bills. So when the year started, it wasn't that bad. But now it's like we're trying to catch up. And playing catch up is a pain in the butt. But I said I was going to do this more for me so I know where I am mentally, physically, spiritually. And I can tell you that I'm in a pretty good place today. I, don't, I can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow, but at least today I am. So I'm going to end it there because like you guys know, I am not editing these. These are just kind of like, you know, you, my diary entries. And today's Monday. The first, is it the first or the second? I think it's the second Monday of July, 2024. And it's a good day. I hope it was a good day for you. Have a wonderful night.